don't think anybody's ever done Dukes of Hazard style donuts in a Maserati before. $8,800, why not? <laughs> is very healthy and happy but it does have plenty of issues it was the cheapest Maserati Quattroporte with the ZF six-speed transmission in the USA and it does have quite a few problems having to do with what's supposed to be this reliable six-speed transmission but it still does donuts just fine and I got the attention of the car wizard he doesn't look too happy that I was doing donuts in his front lawn but he should be able to cover some new landscaping when he presents me with the bill for this thing Oh boy, here we go again. Wizard's Lair. Wizard! Oh, he likes it. Spicy Very much. Just making you want to sing opera? Nelson Dorma! Here we go. Keep going. Hell yeah. No. That was, that was beautiful, wizard. <laughs> Nelson Dorma. I could hear how beautiful it was. You were, you were tearing up my dandelions. Oh, yes, your lawn. I'm... You need to ask before you do something like that. Well, if I asked, then you would say no, and then I couldn't do it. It's forgiveness versus permission, right? Well, it'll all settle up in the bill. Yeah. Let's go over this thing head to toe, wizard. Mario! It seems very, very solid under here. Obviously it does donuts perfectly, it revs wonderfully, no misfires, feels really good. A little bit of a shake though, maybe at idle, but it doesn't feel like a misfire. It might be motor mounts or something. Something like that, I don't know, but the, drain, but the engine is great. I'm really happy with it and it is very pretty. It is very pretty. Interestingly though, the main fault with this car is the transmission. It's got the good German ZF gearbox in it and it's throwing a fault, saying manual mode's unavailable, but it's shifting fine in manual mode. When it's cold and I first drive it, like the first couple of shifts are a little wonky, mm -hmm. but it's not terrible. And then once it's warmed up, it's totally fine. So I, I don't know what's going on there. Yes, feast your eyes on this beautiful interior. The coloring in it's just beautiful. I know. You don't I see know. that on a Kia Rondo. <laughs> no, you don't. Unfortunately, it is pretty worn. This is the access for the OBD2 cover over on the driver's yeah. side. And it looks like some clips are broken. And they've held it on with Velcro that has now fallen off. So it's kind of permanently off. But look, they even stitched in OBD they right stitched here. stitched OBD. Yeah. Not even a sticker. It's stitched. It's beautiful. And I'm also having a fault <clears throat> code for the parking brake. It has an electronic parking brake. Okay. Says it's not working, and the battery will go dead if it sits for more than a few days. Typical Italian car. That's why they have the lever. Yeah, normal stuff to investigate and figure out. The body itself is pretty good. The paint should clean up. It does have some weird dings on it, though, especially here on the fuel door. It's like they couldn't get in, so they were trying to pry it open, probably when the battery went dead and it had, like, a low fuel tank. It looks like they donkey punched it. <laughs> yeah, they were mad and they punched it, yeah. <laughs> That's not really your realm. Mechanics are your realm. No, I don't I don't do buffing. So will your engine computer scanner thing plug into this guy? Yes it will. Hmm. See how many codes. We'll see. More than fifty, less than fifty. hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. Yeah, let's check it out. Has the battery. It wasn't happy with the battery. I see. Stored code? That's the only code in the engine. That's good. I'll clear that. Let's see what this transmission says, huh? Tip failure, error signal, short circuit to battery voltage. Anytime I've ever seen that code, it's always been the, the shift assembly here. There's sensors in there. It says here it's short circuited, so. Okay. 
Well, the only other fault I have is with the, the parking, parking brake. Let's go check that out. The battery, I didn't like the battery. The electric motor drive circuit beyond maximum. Calibration is error. The CAN communication line is not specified. No signal, invalid message, main wake up. Oh, in English, please? Probably the, the motor and all that stuff's dead. Mm. The actual, we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. Maybe there's some cut wires or... Okay. This has a lot of communication issues here. And you think one of those could be draining my battery since they're all confused? Yeah. If there's something shorted or something wrong, then yeah. So that's all the stuff that I know is wrong with it, but there's... Who knows? Let's put it on the lift and see what else there is. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see if there's any leaks or... What lies beneath? Well, hopefully this trident, the... The spork, Aquaman's weapon, doesn't end up stabbing me in the rear. Well, I have a nice hole here. Did, did you hit a duck or something? Well, I didn't hit it. <laughs> oh, you want a piece of a Maserati? I did forget to mention I have a little clunk in the suspension going over bumps. It doesn't feel quite as sharp as a Maserati should. Okay. Just push up, straight up with the whole wheel. Okay, it's your, it's your uh, strut. So there's just a little bit of play in the strut then? Yes. Am I replacing a strut or a strut mount? Probably, I can see if we could get the bushings. If not, it'll be the whole strut. Oh dear. Let's check the other side. Same on the other side? Probably will be. Uh-oh, tie rod in. Oh, that's not good. Not good. And it has the same up and down. There's your clunky noise. Perfect. Well, at least the engine looks nice and very, very dry, actually. Exceptionally dry, huh? Oh, yeah. Scarico olio. Oh, olio. <laughs> Sorry. Wizard's getting a little weird. Let's look at your motor mounts. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, it feels like a pimple that really needs to pop. Hmm. <laughs> it's not, I think your motor mounts are junk. Yeah, I've it's never seen one where the rubber's underneath like that to where you can just poke it like like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> 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 so that's probably my culprit there. Yes, you have bad motor mounts. Lovely, okay, well, moving on. Transmission pan, very dry. Oh, more of the hoo-hoo. <laughs> the bounce through the transmission mount. <laughs> this might be the first car I bought that doesn't have a single leak. Wow. Owen Wilson wowing at my own excellence. It does have quite a bit of grass, so. Yeah, there's. My lawn mowing probably wasn't the, the best idea. Yeah, there's, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. You trimmed the hedges for me, thanks. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the parking brake, you can see the shoes there and then there's a cable that goes along. So it has shoes even though it's a disc brake. Yeah, the disc brakes is for your main stopping. The shoes are the parking brake. I you see. You see it here. And what controls it? You follow the cable along and it goes into the actuators, which is under this uh, aluminum heat shield. Hmm. It's a salvage yard, what I can tell. Right. With the way it's marked up and... Yeah, what do you think? I think that this has been attempted to be fixed before with a good used one. And for whatever reason, it's not working anymore. Hmm. I could try to clear the codes and try to recalibrate it, but very likely it's bad. Just another used unit or new. Yes. Huh. Well, I have no idea how much that costs. We'll have to find out. Oh, you're going to go in your office and start giggling. Yes. Here we go. We got, oh, boy. We got to make for, for my yeah. dandelion. Right. You go in there. I'll put all this stuff back in the trunk and okay. come join you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes. Oh, I hear giggling. That means you're ready for... What are you doing? 
I'm shopping for a beach house in Malibu. In Malibu, California. Four acres, 125 million. 125 million. <laughs> Surely a Maserati is not going to pay for that. Oh, it's going to. Oh. It'll be the icing on the cake anyways. Okay, no, it can't be as bad as the M5. There's no way. No, it's not that bad. Of course not. What do you got, Malibu Barbie? Okay, Malibu Barbie has your hood struts to keep your hood from flopping and mm -hmm. getting hit, 225 bucks. Starting pretty strong there. I didn't even mention the hood struts, but you like to replace those because... Because yeah. I don't want them falling on me. Right. Okay. The motor mounts and the trans mounts going to cost you a grand. <laughs> really? Yep. To, <laughs> well, they, they won't do that anymore? The yeah. cute little poking. You have the Pillsbury Doughboy going. A thousand dollars. Yeah, the 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 front the engine mounts are three hundred dollars a piece. Oh, that's a decent repair for a little bit of a jiggle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that vibration will take care of it. So that's the most expensive one. Mm, almost. <laughs> <laughs> the clunk in your front end. Yeah. That's going to be four hundred twenty-five bucks. Luckily, I can just get the bushings, so you don't have to buy the sky. The whole strut. And, yeah. Perfect. Okay. The shifter, I get a used one and put it in for five hundred bucks. A used one. And they're still five hundred dollars. Or are you padding your labor again a little bit? Oh no, I'm not padding my labor. Do you owe a mobster money or something? This is This would be about three hundred bucks for the shifter. Wow. Okay. Tie rod in. Oh back to the suspension, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is two hundred and twenty bucks. Then you got hour labor to replace it and reset the toe and three twenty. Hmm. Your electronic parking brake, I can get a new one. New one. A new parking brake for 800 bucks. How about a used one? Well, I found a used one. Actually, it was 1100 for that one. It was more? Yeah, it was more. It was coming from Germany. It's a good used unit, 1100 bucks. Okay. Uh, we'll go with new. Transmission service is $350. I didn't say anything about that. Well, it needs to be done. They say that they're sealed for life, but... Oh yeah, with the Mercedes ones, you definitely want to drop it. And mm -mm. It gets nasty in there. No transmission is sealed for life. Yeah, and probably an oil change too, right? Yep, 175 for that. Oh, expensive oil. Okay. And we got a grand total, 4125. $4,125. Yep. You know, that's $10,000 less than the M5 estimate. Yeah. And that's about half of the Hummer H2 estimate. I'm not spending more than what I paid for the car to fix it. This is... <laughs> this is yeah, great. It is great. What a day. Happy day. So I guess we'll dive into Maserati repair soon, and then I can cruise around and see what Quattroporte ownership is like. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to Hoobie's Garage and The Car Wizard. Car Wizard has a YouTube channel that just went over 100,000 subscribers, so yes. congratulations. You're going to get a plaque. I am. It's, it's on the way. All right. Bye-bye. Ciao. <laughs>